All right, hi everyone. I've been getting a lot of questions on the G5 and the GNX 375 and how I have it set up. Uh, I went to Oshkosh recently and they told me that my GPS, the transponder, the GNX 375 will talk to the G5 HSI and also a second Navcom and I have an SL30. Well, I need to do an update to make that work and I thought I'll take you guys along and show you how the update reads on the G5. It is STC. It says as I am the owner, I can actually do the update. At least that's the way I interpret it. I went on Garmin's website. I downloaded the newest revision, revision 19 of the software manual and it's on my phone here. And on what is section 6.35, I went ahead and loaded I'll see if I can grab it here. I went ahead and loaded uh, a micro SD card into my computer. I downloaded Microsoft because I have a, a work computer with Microsoft. I downloaded the, the installer, the software as it reads here, and I downloaded the software update to 6.2. I'm currently at 5.7. And now I'm going to show you how it reads. It says step one for updating the software power on the G5, then insert a properly formatted micro SD card into the micro SD slot. So I'll show you that right now. So we're powering it on, avionics, and there it says 5.7. So 5.7 is the version I'm on. Okay, now that's powered on, it says insert a properly formatted micro SD card into the slot. A software update pop-up will appear on the screen. Select OK to begin the update. So, there's my SD card. And put it in this way. New software available, load software update from data card. Okay. Thinking. screen update software update will begin ensure power is not removed while the update the unit will reboot after the update is complete the new software version will be displayed while the unit powers on which it did assuming that's it oh yeah now our message went away so I'm just gonna go and take it off there so 